Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Bernie brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Well, in the latest All-Star update, Yadier Molina and the Giants' Buster Posey were locked in a close race to win the fan vote at catcher for the National League All-Star team. With less than three weeks to go in the balloting, Molina has closed a once big lead by Posey down to about 63,000 votes. Hey, Miotti deserves to win this vote and start the game. He's the NL's leading hitter with a 355 batting average. He's sixth in the league in on base percentage, tied for second in doubles, is 15th in slugging. Among NL catchers, uh, Molina is first in hitting and is in a virtual first place uh, position for runs batted in and runs scored. On defense, it's no contest. Posey already has started four games at first base this season and will start more. And Molina has caught nearly 100 more innings than Posey so far. Posey has allowed more stolen bases than any National League catcher thus far. And Molina, as we know, is the best defensive catcher in the big leagues now and for a very long time. We like Posey a lot, but despite MLB's attempt to make Buster the unofficial face of baseball this year, Molina deserves the nod. Will Molina win the vote? That's the question. I'll discuss it in a moment, but first... When the Cardinals beat the Cubs Monday, you won 40% off the regular menu price items today at Papa John's on orders placed at PapaJohns.com. Just enter the promo code CARDSWIN, and as a bonus, Papa John's Pizza will donate 10% of your order sale price to the Siteman Cancer Center. Okay, back to the Molina versus Posey race. Molina can prevail, but it won't be easy. The Giants and their fans have an impressive history of getting out the vote in a coordinated effort that has machine-like precision. The Giants rank second in the majors in home attendance. Their fans are great, but they're among the very best, if not the best organization in pro sports at cultivating social media as an effective tool. The Giants know how. They're very savvy in motivating their fans to vote early and often online. The Giants have voting kiosks all around the stadium free free Wi-Fi at their ballpark. And in the past, tech-savvy Giants fans have come up with computer programs that can automatically cast the maximum 25 votes online with just a couple of clicks of the mouse. This robo-voting is a powerful asset for Posey and all Giants players. Now, the Cardinals and their fans are catching on. The Cardinals are doing a better job of getting their fans fired up to vote. The increased enthusiasm is reflected in the current voting trends. Cardinals have a player among the top four vote-getters at catcher and all four infield positions. And the three starting outfielders are in the top 14 of the vote-getters, with Carlos Beltran leading all outfielders in the voting. Posey and Molina rank number one and number two in the league for total votes, and this will be a frantic finish. The Cardinals and Giants each opened seven-game homestands Monday, and that will provide a great opportunity for a final surge in the voting. The Giants and Posey have the edge in technology, but the Cardinals have been increasingly aggressive in using social media and traditional broadcast media to crank up their fans to vote. Now, Molina is going to need Cardinals fans to come up very big for him in the final two-plus weeks of voting, and in all candor, it's hard to beat the Giants fans at a contest that they have managed to effectively rig in the past. But if any fan base can get the job done, it's the passionate fans in St. Louis. Speaking of Molina, you can get this t-shirt at joesportsfan.com. Pretty sweet, eh? Hey, thanks to our sponsor, Papa John's Pizza. Come on back here tomorrow for more Breakfast with Bernie at stltoday.com.